Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman and this is the Lost RV. The RV is the newest board in the Lost Domesticated series. Uh, great grobbler, great all-around wave catching machine and another board that will 100%, 100, actually probably 123% out exceed its designed surfing range. Uh, what is an RV? People are like, well they got the couch potato, they've got the Lazy Boy and they've got the bottom feeder, how could they possibly need another board in, in that range uh, for Lost? If you took the best qualities of all of those boards and then morph them into one board, that's what the RV is. So if you look at the outline shape, it has uh, a more aggressive nose outline and also nose foil, uh, pulling a lot from the bottom feeder and that's gonna allow the board to come off the top harder and to come off the bottom, just basically maneuver Everything that you do on this board, the board's gonna be easier to get around because you're not swinging around as much weight up forward. They did trim the nose down in the front, but when you get back into here, it still carries a lot of width uh, for planing area. From here all the way to the back of the board, uh, very similar to the, to the Couch Potato and Lazy Boys. I would say the biggest difference is that size per size, these boards tend to be a little bit thinner than, uh, so not necessarily narrower, but thinner this way. So you have the width for the planing area, uh, but since these boards go so fast uh, down the line, when you do want to bring it around into a nice roundhouse or cutback, uh, having the board be a little bit thinner is going to make it easier to turn at speed. Several of the things that are going to help you turn at speed, uh, one of the things that's in the RV is uh, the board's flat coming in, uh, and then it has a, a a V in the back of the board, actually a little bit of concave on both sides, but you can see right here it actually comes up and then back down, and you can really use that to roll into your turns at speed and just basically bank, bank off of that V. And with the thinner profile of these boards, uh, you get a lot of speed up and just roll right off of that V, put the rail in the water. It's going to make it a lot easier to do those high speed turns uh, that you didn't really know existed on these type of boards until you got you know one of the other three that we just mentioned. Uh, out the back, uh, it's got reduced tail area and then a lot of outline curves. So one wing, two wings, and then into a smaller squash tail. So if you looked at a couch potato, a couch potato would come right out here, keep going straight, start bending, and then probably right here would be about an inch wider on both sides compared to the RV. Uh, couch potato is still going to be your best bet for absolute bottom low end groveling. This RV, if you're absolutely loving your couch potato and you're looking for a one-up off of your couch potato, this would be a great board because it's going to give you that performance nose to slide into waves real late, especially a little bit more hollow wave, uh, and to be able to whip the thing around. But it's going to be a seamless transition from a couch potato to this board uh, and give you the performance, almost like a rocket nose, like a, like a V2 rocket or a stub nose uh, put onto a couch potato middle but thinner and then pulled in with that double double winger squash. Uh, just a really great board. Um, this thing is gonna be a huge seller for Lost this year. Probably one of their most popular boards in a while uh, because it addresses what average conditions are around the world, but it does it in a, uh, a really high performance package. High performance meaning for everybody, not just for the pros, uh, and in a, in a good looking package as well, so it's not just like a blob of foam. It's the RV, uh, available in sizes from 5.0 all the way up to, you know, into the mid sixes. All of the RVs come five fin setup, and uh, you definitely want to run some big quad fins. You're going to see a lot of the boards coming with a five fin future setup. Uh, the, the stock fin for these boards, it's a great board. It comes with a $104 uh, fiberglass honeycomb future controllers fin set with a finger fin out the middle too so a five fin setup uh, where most boards come with no fins or, or plastic donkey fins this, this board comes with the right fin to use stock so don't uh, stray away from that or don't think it looks weird because your friends don't have the same looking fin those fins are great drivers for this style of board with the wider tail you can really leverage the added area of the future controllers fin in this board and just haul in, in waves that really shouldn't even be served. They're so small and gutless. These things will still go really, really fast. So you're going to see a lot of them futures, and that's the reason why they have futures is because that fin is a future-specific fin, the future controller fin. It's the RV from Lost. This is a board that you should definitely check out.